Hey guys, Vampy here. <clears throat> and uh, today, I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about a more somber type situation. And uh, that would be uh, basically my depression. And, well, not not technically my depression. This isn't really a video about me. This is kind of a video about depression because I've been kind of dealing with it lately. I've, uh, I've been missing my, uh, <laughs> I've been missing my ex-girlfriend. Her her name is uh, Ivy. Dear gods, crucify me if I say that name. <laughs> um, no, it, it's. Uh, I'm, I'm not even being. I'm not serious about that. I mean, I love her. I still love her. Really miss her. And we broke up for reasons that uh, I won't go into detail about. And uh, if she sees this, I really hope she doesn't go into detail about it. But uh, I want everyone to know the reason that I said before that I'm not going to go out with anyone else. Because I'm still holding on to that sliver of hope that she loves me too still, and misses me too, but, uh, I've also been missing some other people, like, uh, Noctis, of course, him living in Nebraska, um, and me living in Kansas, we don't get to see each other anymore, like we used to, I, I miss hanging out with him. It, it was really fun to hang out with him, and he, he, he's a great guy, and he, he could just brighten up my day, and it was amazing. <laughs> he, he always had this way of saying weird, wacky shit that would brighten my day and make me feel better when I didn't feel so great, and... Um, another person that I'm missing, I I'm missing because of uh, depression, and uh, that, that, that would be my friend Angel, and the reason I say I'm missing her because of depression, because uh, she... Uh, it's a really hard subject for me to talk about, but, uh, she, she was bullied a lot. Her, her dad was abusive, both physically and, uh, sexually to her and her sister. And she was bullied at school as well. And then she had, uh, a boyfriend who basically just used her uh, for sex, and when she didn't want that and told him no, he kind of did it anyway. And, uh, well, needless to say, I had spent a whole night talking with her on a weekend. And we we were talking, and I uh, we stopped talking, and I had told her to try to get some sleep, and that if she needed anything, to let me know that I'd have my phone by me. And, well, it was about two o'clock when we both decided to go to bed, 
the week and mastermind George I, I got a call about two and a half three okay. hours later yeah. from her says, Did you buy a home? and Did you buy a home? I yes. I answered it, and I I started talking and asked her what was wrong, and <laughs> what I could do to help, and tried to calm her down, because the person on the other line was hysterical, very, very hysterical, and they calmed down. It wasn't her. It, it was um, it was her sister, and that that's when I got the news. Uh, her sister, her sister, didn't really beat around the bush about it. I could tell she was crying and had been crying a lot, but uh, she she flat out told me. She's like Angel's gone. She's she's gone. She she hung herself. And I I didn't know what to do with myself, honestly. I uh I I I shut off. Like I emotionally shut off. And I sat staring blankly into the distance and didn't know what to do. And it took my friend Steph just breaking me down for it all to come out. So, just this video is if you know someone that's struggling with depression, reach out to them. I'm begging you, reach out to them. Just please reach out. Be a friend. Help people out. And that's all for this video, guys. I'll see you in the next one.